In 2023, AI editing is the way to go. Today, I'm going to show you five AI editing tools that will help you edit your videos. For this, we're going to be using CapCut, the sponsor of today's video. The first tool that you can use is using AI to auto caption your videos to help speed up the video editing process. As you can see, we have CapCut opened up here on the desktop. We're just using the desktop app for this. And what we're going to be doing is you're going to look right on the text here over on the left hand side and then you're just going to click on the auto captions feature that's going to pull this up right here where it's showing the auto captions here um, there's an option to clear current captions but as you can see in this video that i have pulled up there's no current captions on there um, so we're just going to click create and then it'll auto generate your captions for you and as you can see right here it has these auto captions all filled out already for me um, I mean, this is something that would have previously taken like at least like 20 minutes, a good 20 minutes bare minimum to do this type of stuff. Now I'm just going to go in here. I can see that I don't need this cap cut here. So I'm just going to go in here and delete this. I have this other part right here where I already have text over the video. So I'm just going to delete that as well because I know I don't need that part. And the main thing is, is you just want to go over your video. And as you can see right at the beginning there, oh, it ended up fixing itself. Um, but you just want to go through making sure in your video that your captions look pretty good. Now I preset the captions to look like this. That's why they look like how they do. And how you edit what your captions look like is pretty easy here. So what you'll do is you'll open up your captions. You'll click on it. And then over in the right hand corner here, a box will pop up. Um, you can adjust your text. You can do some like the basic stuff. You can make sure you apply this editing you do to all of the text options. Kind of scrolling through, checking it out, making sure it looks the way you want it to. Um, I didn't have any sort of set preset look or anything along those lines for the whole thing. But as you can see, there's plenty of different ways um, to adjust your text. Now, the main thing we want to do is adjusting the animation. And as you can see here, there's a captions animation. I do bounce out. It just looks the cleanest and it'll go word by word. I like to use the bounce out because it'll just play it all as one. Um, and each text individually will get its own little bounce effect there. So for the second AI tool, we're going to be using CapCut's Remove Filler Words tool. Now to do that, it's very simple. We've got the CapCut desktop app opened up again. What we're going to be doing is I have this clip here where I specifically added in some filler words, as you'll be able to see here. Um, as you can see, CapCut removes um, all of your filler phrases um, from your videos. So as you could tell by that, I added in some extra filler words just to show its removal process. And here's how you do it. Simply just go over to the video that you're trying to remove the footage from. You're going to two finger click or you're going to right click depending upon what you're using. And you'll just click on the remove filler words. It's literally as simple as that. Then it's going to go in. It'll detect the audio and detect your video and then it will just simply remove those and it ends up being something that sounds just like this. As you can see, CapCut removes all of your filler phrases from your videos. Now, this tool alone allows you to speed up your video process so much more. You don't have to remember exactly what you're saying. You can look over at your script. You can even add in some filler words and CapCut will end up removing all of those in a matter of seconds. For this third AI feature, we're going to be using CapCut's script to video tool. Now, hopping into the computer here, it's going to be really easy. You literally just have the CapCut desktop app opened up, and then you click on script to video. You will need to have a script pre-written out for this process, but then what you do is, whatever your script is, just click on command V, it'll enter it all in there. And then you could see it has an AI writer, you can use a talking script or an ad script there. And then we're not going to be using that, so we don't need to worry about that for this one. One big thing to make sure of is you change the voice here. Uh, the first time I did it, I kept it on the werewolf one and it was tweaking me out. It was uh, it's pretty funny, actually, um, because it sounded like a demon was talking. Um, but yeah, if you want to have something more legit, make sure to switch it. Uh, Jesse is like the default TikTok voice. There's also good guy, which makes for a really good voiceover too. 
That's the one I'm gonna be choosing on this one. And then I'm just gonna click generate. Now, next thing that you can do is there's a smart generation feature as well as there's a local materials feature. I imagine either one of these would work really well. Um, I've only used the smart generation one, which is generating video with materials from CapCut. So they're gonna use stuff that is non-copyright from CapCut. And then they also have a local materials, so you can choose your own videos, your own footage, stuff like that. But for this example, we're just gonna use the smart generation and we're just gonna click on that. Now, as you can see, after it's been exported here, it turns out pretty good. And this is a pretty long script, so it comes out to a pretty long video. It has your footage, it has some of your text overlay. It also has the voiceover itself. And as well, it has some nice little background music. Now, if you're making a longer video, kind of similarly to what I have here, you'll want to select some different background music, but if you have something that's around like three to five minutes, you should be pretty good. Now, with that being said, let's check out and see how this footage actually looks. Experimental photography is excellent if you're stuck in a rut or trapped inside because of the weather. Here are 10 techniques you should try for a motivational kick. In this video, we'll focus on digital photography rather than film-based photography. Now, in just watching those 20 seconds of the video, you can see that it still does need a lot of work and the text does need a little bit of animating, but a lot of your storyline is already set up, which makes for an extremely easy, quicker process. Something like this could potentially take you an hour to two hours to set up, all of the wording, all of the footage being used, uh, what's being said exactly, and the background music. So for all that to be streamlined into a super easy, seamless process is gonna make your video editing experience that much better. Now, this fourth tool that we're gonna be using is CapCut's AI Image Generator, which actually doesn't use the desktop app, but rather it uses their website portal, which you can access from CapCut.com. Now, hopping into the computer here, as you can see, we're just on our account. We're using the magic tools feature. And then as you can see, there is the text to image. We're just gonna click on that. And then this ends up popping up where you could add in a bunch of different captions for what you're looking for. You have square aspect ratio, portrait aspect ratio, and landscape. For this, we want some landscape. I wanna make sure to do four images so that way it shows four images. And then simply enter in a prop for this one. I'm thinking something of someone taking a photo, so I'm gonna enter in um, photographer with camera. And then we're simply just gonna click generate and it'll come up with four images. Now that these loaded in, these look pretty good, it's considering the fact that it's just kind of like random artistic AI images, which would look really good as maybe some like B-roll in a video, or even something where you're just trying to have like a cartoon feel for your photo overall. This AI image tool actually works as a really good tool if you wanna include it as some like B-roll in a video where you're talking about images, you're talking about photographers, you're talking about photography in general. It's a really cool thing you could utilize as some interesting B-roll footage. For the fifth and final tool here, we're gonna be using CapCut's auto reframe feature, which works perfectly if you wanna take long long form content and repurpose it into short form content in a quick amount of time. Now that we're in the CapCut desktop app, to reframe your video is actually super easy to be done. Just click on your video there in the top right hand corner, the video icon panel pops up there. And then you're just gonna scroll down until you see that auto reframe. And then you'll just make sure the auto reframe is checked. Then you're gonna click on the reframe, change it from original ratio to nine by 16. And at that point, it's gonna apply an auto reframe throughout. So you just gotta let it play. And then after it's all done auto reframing the video, you're gonna end up with something that looks a little bit like this. For this scene, we're gonna be testing out the main camera, the selfie camera, and the telephoto portrait camera in an urban setting. Along with this phone's megapixels, it has some other really cool qualities too, including the telephoto lens and the selfie cam. Well, after walking through the process of these five edits, editing tools that you can use using AI, I hope this really helps you see 
that CapCut is one of the best editing platforms with using AI tools and just as an editing platform in general. It takes edits that would have taken hours on end and shortens them drastically to something you could even potentially make a video create it within a couple of hours, which before would have taken days to make. I hope you gained some value from watching this video. Down below, I've included a download link to CapCut's app. You can go install the desktop version of CapCut on your computer today. As well, remember CapCut is a mobile app too, so you can go check out the mobile version of this app if you prefer editing that way too. Let me know what you thought of the video down below. Um, leave a comment, like, subscribe if you liked the video itself. And one last thing, I want to thank CapCut for sponsoring this video. Without them, wouldn't have been possible. That being said, see you guys in the next one. Peace.